Hey, what's up YouTube? Ultimate Outdoors here. Um, I'm going to show you uh, some things I've been playing around with this winter uh, for trap and make. Unfortunately, the way the weather's going, it doesn't look like I'm going to get to use them. Uh, it's still froze out, so I don't think I'm going to get to uh, set many traps this spring. Unless it breaks pretty soon, so. Alright, the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, this little tunnel set I made. Uh, it's just a piece of uh, pipe. It's uh, oh, a couple feet long and what I did is I used uh, maybe one of my uh, fall videos you see me use one of these uh, it's approximately uh, 29 inches long this one is and what I do with these is I drill some holes in the end right there's a hole so I can wire to it and I use a, uh, a duke what I use is a duke number one you could use a one and a half and I bury the pipe along the creek, uh, pond, whatever it might be, and I just set the uh, trap right on the end and kind of cover it up a little bit. This this tunnel, you can bury it, cover it, hide it under banks, uh, whatever, uh, brush piles, wherever mink might run. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't catch a I did catch a coon last fall with it. Uh, I didn't catch a mink, but I only had one of these out uh, this spring. Like I said, I was hoping to put more out. Doesn't look that way. Uh, but, you know, set the trap in. You could put bait lure inside of it, whatever. Hide them, bury them. Uh, put a trap, coil spring on each end. Uh, some people may be able to set up, put a 110 in front of it somehow. Uh, but the reason I'm showing you these, these things I've, I've made is so you can go on and do your own uh, adjustments to it different ways and hopefully share them with me and uh, see if they work. Okay, the next one is the same thing. It's a bigger pipe. Uh, with this one, I have slots cut in the end. And the inside diameter of this pipe is uh, about seven and three quarter. So what you could do with this one, is you can take your uh, Duke 110, or whatever kind you use, this is a duke, and you get it set, this will slide right inside there like so. Put one in each end and you can bury this in banks brush piles whatever bait lure inside um, but you can get your trap set up in there uh, you can also use this is a duke uh, 120 this will also slide in there I got a group cut on each side so you can slide one on each end and the mink can see right through it you know hopefully they'll run through it one way or another place where the mink run where they're able to be and uh, that's what that one is so like I said make adjustments to it different ways to use it different places please share them with me so I can uh, get some different ideas I'm hoping the weather breaks so I can get these out in the spring and try them see if I have any luck but we'll have to wait and see this next one is uh, it's a half a pipe. Now uh, they're a little heavy. It's not nothing you want to carry way back in the woods, but maybe along some creeks somewhere. Uh, what I did is uh, I took a piece of this one's like a two by two by ten. Like I said, you can do different sizes. This is half a pipe. It's uh, screwed down. And what I did, let me show you. What I did was I uh, I routed out spot for the trap in here. So basically what this one is, this is a Duke number one coil spring and I drill the hole in the bottom so the chain will just come out the bottom so it'll be out of the way. But uh, I'll set the trap. Okay the trap is set. Like I said, this is a Duke number one. 
You can actually do this with a one and a half, whatever you choose to do. Put it in the other way. Right there. Now as you can see, doesn't look like anything in there. Uh, the trap lays right flat in there. So when the mink looks through there, they're not seeing nothing. So I got one routed out on each end. All right, I, I got one routed out on each end so you can put one in each end of the pipe. And the mink will run through it, hopefully, hide it places, cover it up with stuff, make it look as natural as you can. And uh, that's what it is. All right, a couple other things I want to show you. Uh, a friend of mine uh, brought me down a couple gifts uh, the other day. Um, a friend of his is doing uh, some custom duct work and uh, metal artwork. And these things are pretty cool. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, I don't know if you can, can read it or not. This is uh, Ultimate Outdoors. And uh, it's all done with a little plasma cutter. And it's all cut out pretty cool. So I want to show you this one. And I want to show you this other one. The, this one's going over to camp. I'm going to put this one over to camp. Yeah, the guy that uh, makes these, his name is uh, Rob Edgar from uh, Redwood, New York. And the, the, his business is called the uh, Creekside Custom Duct Work and Metal Artwork, uh, located in Redwood. Uh, pretty cool artwork. He's doing all kinds of things with this uh, plasma cutter. And a friend of mine is, is good friends with this guy and uh, had these made. And uh, they're, they're pretty cool. I like them. This one here, you know, is a, you could use it for either a key rack or a hat rack. I'm using it for a hat rack. And... The other one I'm taking to camp, uh, I'm sure we'll use it for a hat rack or keys or whatever you want to use them for. But, uh, they're pretty cool. One other thing I wanted to show you, I don't know if I pointed it out or not, uh, is I have a blonde coyote. Um, I did a little review on my uh, man cave or whatever you want to call it here. Maybe some of you have seen it or whatever. I'm not sure, but uh, very cool. Very cool. I've never uh, caught or killed a coyote in another one like this. This was the, the only one. I actually had a little bit of video of it on my trail camera before I got him, but uh, it's what he is. Pretty cool. There's uh, here's my blonde coyote. I had him tanned because I thought he was unique. Had a pretty color. Had that big diamond-shaped dark spot right in the back of his neck between his shoulder blades. Uh, pretty cool looking coyote. All right, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe, hit like. Uh, Leave some comments, let me know you, what you think about these sets, uh, if you have any ideas on different ways to do them, uh, if you've ever used anything like this, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm very interested in knowing. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, I do all kinds of outdoor things, hunting, fishing, trapping, four-wheeling. I'm not a professional at any of them. I just enjoy doing them. Uh, I enjoy learning, so anything anybody has any info for me on different things, please uh, feel free. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, cheers.